my name is Andy and welcome to my video tutorial on building a vagrant box from scratch. I hope that you will find this useful. Ok, to start we need to install a few prerequisites. So, first one being VirtualBox, second one being the Build Essentials package which enables us to be able to compile kernel modules and also of course we need the Linux headers which um, allow us to compile the modules when we install VirtualBox. So we just go ahead and install this. trim this down a bit, it can take a few minutes to uh, compile the modules but um, yeah, for the sake of sanity I've chopped a load of time out. Ok, next what we need to do, we need to build our uh, virtual machine. So, as a prerequisite we just require um, a Linux distro ISO to be downloaded already. Uh, in this case I've downloaded a Ubuntu server image um, and just go through and set up a basic machine. Okay. Just select the image. Okay. I'll just whiz through this. Um our English United Kingdom. Okay, I mean this is just at the moment a standard Ubuntu install, so I will skip quite a lot of the the timeout. I think it took me about fifteen minutes or so to install it. So save you the time. Chopped a load of it out. Um as default um vagrant recommends that you have a vagrant username um, well a vagrant user on the machine with the password of vagrant um, it's used as part of the vagrant system um, when starting up um, what we'll do later on is to set up our key into the vagrant user account um, that way then it can identify when the machines are up and it can mount the, uh, the shared folders which is where you would store your code or any other assets that aren't necessarily required for the base system. So for for developers that would be the entire code base. For those who don't actually use SSH keys, um, a key is a unique identifier that allows people to SSH in without requiring a password. Um, some say that it isn't as secure, but on the flip side, as long as you keep your private key safe, you will be as secure as having a password. The added benefit is of using a uh, key is that um, people cannot brute force um, your SSH logins. So it's always a good idea to have um, SSH keys as and where you can. Right, so we're just going to set this up as a LAMP server and an OpenSSH server. Um, we require OpenSSH, of course, to be able to uh, to manage the virtual machine at a later stage. So, uh, give it a password blank. Might as well, for the sake of this uh, example. Install grub. Continue. 
Okay, so the next thing we need to do uh, will be to update the VirtualBox um, in this case, or if you are building this for your own use, um, to um, basically get everything installed on it as you'd expect it to be. Um, like, I, like I've shown here, I'm just setting this up as a standard LAMP server. So whilst the guest editions have now downloaded, which is something we require for the shared folders, uh, we just need to get everything updated. So Log in as Vagrant with the password of Vagrant. There we go. Now to do the updates, this as well will chunk out. Um, save you any boredom. the fastest update there. Now we just do the kernel side of things. There we go. Right now we just need to install a few requirements for the VirtualBox guest edition. So we'll be installing DKMS, Build Essentials and the Linux headers. As if by magic, most of the time has now passed. Okay, now that we've got everything, we need to install the guest editions. Um, but first, what we're going to do is just make a slight change to Grub. Uh, we make the Grub menu disappear. So what we need to do now is we need to mount the virtual image uh, into the CD-ROM uh, folder. Uh, go into there, and then we run the Linux editions. There we go. Chop some time out there as well. So the guest editions mainly allow uh, Vagrant to be able to talk to the box, to configure it, um, and also to um, manage shared folders. Um, like I said earlier, um, the way Vagrant works is that you have your code folder in your own home folder, and Vagrant um, maps your folder inside the virtual machine uh, to a specific location which we'll set up shortly and um, everything should work hopefully perfectly right before we do anything else we need to set up the vagrant shares so if we go to www.html delete index and we'll make it owned by vagrant so vagrant can mount into it and we also need to do the vagrant share on it. Perfect. Right. We also need to set up a symlink. Um, there's a bug in VirtualBox at this time for the guest editions. Uh, so we just need to put this in here. So There we go. Right. So that will allow 
turn off to load the correct mod modules and everything's good right shut that down nicely right now the vagrant side of things so let's get the vagrant box installed and so uh, set up um, the, the vagrant box basically will be the the image of your 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 vagrant distribution so at the end of this part which of course we'll chop down again the box file you can actually save somewhere safe and people can use that to set up this install on their own machines so in the VirtualBox VMs uh, Ubuntu for you there's a package.box now that's the file that you need to keep and distribute right to install it we vagrant add box Ubuntu which is the name of it and also the file names the package.box or it could be a full URL to the package okay that sets that up there Right, so now what we need to do, we need to initialize it to create the vagrant file. So if we now cd to our home folder and vagrant in it Ubuntu. Right, so that's now created a vagrant file. So now if we open this up in a text editor, for me it's sublime. There we go. Hide this. There we go. Right, so this is a config file. There's lots of stuff in there, but what we'll do for the sake of speed is we will add a couple of rows at the bottom. What we'll do is we will open up port 80 and also set up our shared folder for the code base. So config.vm.network forward ports, forward port rather, guest 80. So that's the port on the virtual machine, host 8080, anything below 1024 you can't really do um, as a non-root user. So we'll seek out port 8080. For now you can have any other ports you want open, they'll all be available on localhost. So now if we set up the shared folder, so synced folder, so this is our local folder. And now the remote folder on the server, so we know it's via HTML. And we also need to give it mount options. So the mount options will be directory mode 777 and file mode 777. Now, for those more security conscious, you can make these settings. At better if you want. Um, okay, config SSH private key path. So this is to allow Vagrant to be able to use our private key to access the um, the Vagrant box. So we'll put that in there. Now I've generated my own private key. Um, you can do that. Just you can have a look at the man page for uh, SSH key gen. Right, so if we bring the Vagrant box up, what we'll need to do is, as this is booting up, for the first time we need to push in our private, uh, our key into the Vagrant box, so it recognises us. So, once it starts, there we go, right, so it's starting the map ports, right. So now if we put the key in, so SSH copy ID, Vagrant at 127.0.0.1, on port 2222 yes password vagrant there we go right our keys in so now it should be booting fantastic now all done so now the virtual machine is running in the background the web the apache web server is now looking at a folder called codebase on my machine so there you go there's the php info that's already there so if we now go to edit the file, so still on my local machine, home and the code base index.php. There we go. Now let's just put a little change in. Hello. Let's make it a bit more obvious from my vagrant box. 
Right, save that, reload, there we go. So there we go, it's all running off Vagrant, nice and nice and simple. And you'll find that if you build the virtual machine to match your production server and you pass this on to your developers, or if you're an individual developer, you want to isolate different environments, um, however you want to work, uh, you'll find that Vagrant is actually a really good way of uh, managing uh, and isolating different environments. So.